hey welcome back so we have a valid sign up uh, page here but i want to be able to put some errors on here so let's put some markup for that so for that we'll go to the sign up page and just after this part i will put a break tag here and another break tag but then i'll put an if statement here and i'm going to say if is set right i forgot my php tags so let's add some php tags so down here we're going to say if if is set errors and errors forgot the word count here if count errors is greater than zero then we have errors don't we and then i just want to loop through all the errors for each errors what have i done for each errors as i don't need the key i just need the value and i'm going to call the value error with two hours of course and then i can now echo each error like so but of course i will put a div outside this to house all this so div i will put the closing div at the very end here writing so now let's see what happens when there's nothing we have all that gap so i don't like that gap so i will remove this break tag let's see if it still exists yeah too much gap let me remove that break tag as well yeah that's more reasonable okay so this is the div right here and the div should have uh, color in the styles so let's put this style and say color uh, red okay that should do it for now We're ready to go so now how do we actually get things to submit and run if i come back here and click sign up i get a refresh which is good things are working out but there's no php to capture the information so let's add some php at the very top of the page and what we're going to do now you can put the php inside a different file and then just include it here that's entirely up to you but I'll just put it here and I want to just check if um, if count post if the post variable has more than uh, zero items in there then uh, a post was made so once things are posted then all we need to do now is uh, actually we need to include like what we included here the init from the index page so same thing here include that init function uh, that init page which has our classes and then here what do we do yeah so this is the kind of stuff we need to be doing so i'm just going to copy that come to sign up paste here and all I want to do now is say, uh, once something was posted, I'll say user action. And what action do we want to do? The action we want to do is create. Then let me add the post data there. So yeah, that does it. Now this one is errors. Like so, okay. So here I have to check if is a set, yeah, which is quite a lot. So I'm going to say if is set and is array, not count. I don't need this count. Let me explain why that is. So if we come back to the user class here, the create function has two results. Either I return an array 
or I return true or false, okay? So by checking if it exists here, I have to check if it exists because it's possible that we are not, we haven't posted anything yet, but which means this will not run in here, meaning errors will not exist when we get here. So I need to check if it's set. And I need to check if it's an array because if it is set, it may either be true or false, but it could also be an array. Now, I don't need to check how many items are in the array because for as long as it's an array, it means we got to this point, meaning there are errors in here. So that's good enough. Okay, so coming back here, this is all we need to do here to sign a user up, and that's it. So if things were worked out just fine, we are supposed to be redirected. So I'm just going to check if uh, the count or actually if errors, that's all I need to check for. So if the answer is true, then we everything went well. So I'm just going to say header uh, location. Where do we go? We go to the login.php and then of course die. Now I always add this die after header and uh, you might be wondering why die when we are already redirecting. Well sometimes when some, some people are messing with your website they can add a uh, protocol that prohibits redirects. So in that case if you don't say die here the redirect will not work and then your page will still load. So that won't be good. But even though somebody disables redirects, they're going to be disappointed because they'll find die and the rest of the script will not load. So that's why this is important for security reasons. Okay, so coming back here, let's try sign up and we get an empty page. We went to the login page. How is that possible? So it means something is wrong here. Now, before we do this redirect, what I want to do is say, oh, actually this was wrong thing to do. I have to say if this is equal to true, not just using that, uh, maybe even this isn't working well. Hmm, let's say not is array here. Maybe that will be better. If it's not an array, then let's pass through here. Okay, I think uh, that will do us some justice. Okay, there we go. Username can only have letters and spaces. Please enter a valid email. Please enter a valid gender. So as you can see, our error messages are here, but uh, very uh, confused, of course. So let's add a break tag at the very end to smooth uh, things over. And also it's a good idea to change the font size to something smaller, like 11 pixels maybe, maybe 12, like this. Yes, yes. So refresh, resend the data, and there we go. Username can only have letters, uh, please enter a valid. So let's add a valid username, shall we? Let me add a uh, valid email, mail at email, mail at email, email at email.com. And let's add, uh, did we check for the password here? This is another thing I, probably forgot. Yeah, we didn't check for the password. So you know, password is very important to check for as well. So let's add one more here. So you can just keep adding uh, these things to check for things for to validate anything. So if empty password, okay, so if empty password or let me remove that. Okay, there we go. If the password is empty or if string length, the password maybe is less than uh, 
let me copy this so this is for when the password is less than a specific value so maybe it's less than four characters then you say please enter now say something like uh, password must be at least four characters something like that so that is important so for as long as you add it here and add an error then this will not run if any of those have errors so this is a good way to do things okay so now as you have noticed every time I refresh everything disappears here which is uh, terrible so I will go to my sign up here and add a value at the very end here so let's go here and do that value click click so add a value parameter here and in here I will just put equal like that so in case you don't know what this uh, PHP equal sign means it just means it's as good as saying PHP tags and then you put echo it's like this and then echo so instead of doing all that you just put an equal sign there okay so what I want to do here is put uh, the if statement so I'm just going to say if it's set if the value in the post is set like that post and then I put I'll just use username for now if it is set close the bracket put a question mark and if it's set we will echo it out so no need to write echo because the echo sign is the echo itself let me put username again and then let's put a full colon and put two empty uh, things there two empty brackets and then close the tag after putting a semicolon and I just want to do the same for email here change that to email and change this one to password very nice and then I want to copy the whole thing here copy and I want to put it right here where it says select gender but I'll put it at the beginning here paste like so but then instead of this empty uh, these two empty thingies here I will drag this into those empty ones and uh, that sorts the problem out so let me refresh my page like so and then hit sign up so it's telling me what to do now so let me put a name let me put a email mail at email.com yeah, it's supposed to show something right wait a minute what's going on it's not password it should be gender Ish. My mouse is fighting with me yeah okay gender name gender let me sign up okay so at least now we have those things back so let me try a password I'll type password itself nothing let me select anyway uh, please enter a valid gender I don't know why it's not showing that we'll come back to it so let me just type mail and then sign up username can only have letters and spaces but it has letters and spaces man so what's going on here let's come back to our user class here and see what's happening okay so what I forgot here is the plus sign here right after that uh, the plus sign means here without the plus sign it's only looking for one character so that would only have worked if there was only one character in there but plus means one or more so we'll just put the plus there and that should sort the problem out if you put a star it means zero or more so sign up okay call to protected method db run from scope in user where is this online 61 okay so this is my mistake here so what I should have done is right here on line 61 I'm calling run which is protected inside the DB class 
So if I come to run, it's protected. So I can't run it from the outside, which is good. So let me just remove it from here. So no need for that. All I need to do is go back to the DB class and run it from, uh, where is this? Values is equal to array. I want these values here. So what I need to do is go to insert. Where is that? Insert. So right at the end here, no need to return this because insert will be the last thing there. So, but I can leave it there. So all I can do now is say this self, where is this? Uh, self. Actually, I don't need that. I just need to do this run like so. And then what I want now is to add this values like so. I don't need to return an instance here. I can just return this and remove that. So let's try it again. Refresh, resend. Okay, seems like things went well because we are on the login page. It's just that the login page is empty. But let's go to our table just to confirm that we saved everything. And let me click browse. And as you can see, the file has been saved. All the data has been saved, which is good. So we'll try again in the next video and see what we can improve and try to log in. I'll see you then.